everyone, my name is Cindy Aurelli. I'm a civil engineering student of Mulawaraman University. Today I want to tell you guys about uh, the one of problem concerning Indonesian tourist object that is the contamination of Indonesia, Indonesian beach. Uh, but before that, we have to know um, what this is. Okay, this is geographical form consisting of the sand and is found in coastal area of the sea. The coastal area is the boundary between land and sea waters. The beach is also one of the favorite tourist objects of many people. Do you know, um, Indonesia has hundreds of beautiful beasts that can be enjoyed by the public, either in the public location or some beasts that only a few people know about. The view of the open sea, blue waters, warm sun, and gentle breeze make this visitor relax and calm. Not only visitor from Indonesia, but even foreign tourists also often go to the Indonesian beach. The peak of crowd of the beach visitor will usually occur during the holiday season. From children to the elderly, everyone can enjoy the beautiful beach of Indonesia. But have we as visitor responding by taking care of the beast we visit? In fact, many beasts in Indonesia which were originally beautiful and clean, they gradually become polluted mainly due to garbage. Example include Labuhan Haji Bis in Lombok and Marunda Bis in Jakarta. Even famous beach in Indonesia such as Kuta Beach in Bali and Pangadara Beach in West Java are also the dirtiest beach in, in Indonesia. It's really sad. The beach which has become a tourist icon is now garbage dump. Both use bottle, rubber, piece of wood, use can to plastic waste fill Indonesian beach, which as we know is very difficult to decompose plastic waste. Generally, garbage that enter the sea which contains a lot of plastic and metal undergoes a long process of decomposition. And decomposition is, is 50 until 400 years maybe. The contamination of Indonesian beast also disturb the life of marine. For example, inhibiting the growth of coral reefs and killing marine animals from in-gas debris or microplastic toxin. Therefore, not a few many marine creatures are treated with extinction due to the mountain of garbage. Even divers always get garbage at the bottom of the sea. According to Ministry of the Fisheries and Maritime Affairs, the number of increasing amount of plastic waste in is increasing every year. The head of the Kuta traditional village peace tax for say that 20 trucks were alerted to transport trash that could be collected on the Kuta beach. In fact, more than 1,000 traders registered of the, at the Kuta beach along the 4 kilometers have also been exported sweep garbage every day, in addition to dozens of special cleaning officers. They are also carried out a large amount of the garbage duty and found around 20 tons of trash on the Kuta beach. With this explanation, it is hoped that it can increase our awareness of the surrounding environment, especially the beach, uh, which is, as we know, that the beach is tourist attraction for Indonesian tourists and foreign tourists. Uh, with that, we can start 
by not littering on the beast and always keeping the beast clean uh, because from small steps it will have a big impact on the sustainable of the beast so let's keep the beast stay clean okay maybe that's all for me uh, thank you for watching and listening my explanation about the contamination of Indonesian bees and I hope you guys this problem is resolved quickly and I invite all of you guys to always keep the environment stay clean especially bees and other tourist objects and I'm sorry if I do a mistake and see you guys